Good morning to the Pari Car Story here in the south of France. It's Thursday. We're doing a morning workout, prepping. Today we're gonna go to the track, see the team, get some stuff ready, do a track walk. See you later. FP2 is about to start. We make some small changes to the car. I'm ready. I'm relaxed. I'm excited. We're gonna go. Just finished FP2 at least my stint. We are still off of the front, however my push lap wasn't ideal. We got a bit unlucky with traffic, so I'm confident for tomorrow. Um, still got some tiny things to do, but I'm feeling good. I think it was a good day. Um, looking forward to tomorrow qualifying and the race. Qualifying, it's early morning. Um, we're gonna do a give it our best shot. Uh, I'm curious where we land. I hope in the front row, uh, but we'll see. And it is Dan Pell, along with Eric Merrick, who will be on the front row of the grid. And so the young Dutch driver, uh, well regarded by Lamborghini, is going to be uh, another driver to keep an eye to, I think, over the course of his stint. Okay, now, light to go green. Who makes the best stop? Going to be Dan Pale then, that has the advantage, but can he get the job done as they dive into turn one? The answer is no. Bash comes through. There's going to be some track limit dramas to be looked at. Another one coming up. And from there is Dan Pale then from the front row of the grid, trying to fight back. Dan Pale right on the back there. Look of uh, Glenn Van Berlo, who in turn has closed up on Balthazar. Van Berlo versus here. Dan Pale, this battle continues. So through the turns, Dan Pale, he would dearly love to be ahead by the time he has to bring the car into the pit lane. Dan Pale sharing uh, with uh, Eric Mehring. Well, he's got a good first stint, this is by the Dutch teenager. Keep it in the race lead, Eric Mehring takes over from uh, Dan Pale. Eric Mehring and Dan Pale taking sixth place. So, that was race one. We finished P6 overall, P5 in class. I'm happy uh, with my P2 at the start and Sabe lost two positions with the track limits issue. Uh, one car got a penalty, not both. Um, Eric did a good stint. I'm happy with the result. Um, now it's getting ready for race two. I'm gonna get some rest and then tomorrow see where we can end. It is blast off and straight away diving out from the pack there was Josef Zaruba in the red wattage. What about Pulcini? Is he going to be able to go round the outside? Yes, he is!
So that was race two. Uh, I got into the car P18, and sadly, from the first moment, the, the splitter was loose, and that meant the car was a bit weird. It was extremely vibrational, um, and we decided not to uh, continue, so I slowed down. Uh, looking at the weekend, not really happy. Some good moments with the P2 in qualifying, and uh, my session, despite the, some issues regarding track limits, but uh, looking forward to Zandvoort very much. I uh, can't wait and hope to have you there.